politics itself is a numbers game. And today, rogue MP Jamie Lee Ross fleshed out his side of the ledger with more details on the case that he claims to have against his former leader, Simon Bridges. Mr Ross released a six and a half minute recording of a phone conversation with Mr Bridges in which the national leader appears to name and shame underperforming MPs in his own party. The Botany MP spent two hours speaking with three detective senior sergeants in Wellington outlining his allegations of electoral fraud. Mr Ross detailed to journalists seven separate donations of $14,000 apiece plus one final donation of $2,000 split up, he says, so that the National Party could keep the identity of its $100,000 donor a secret. First, let's start with that phone recording. You know, at Paul Goldsmith Function, you saw those two Chinese guys, Zhang Yikun and Colin. Uh, you had dinner at their home. Um, yes. They talked to you about a $100,000 uh, donation. That is yes. now in. Um, what would you like done with it? It's currently sitting in a Botany Electric account. Mm, gee, that's good. I need to. I'll say. By the way, on that, just before we get to that, I promised them that uh, that we would have dinner at my place. That so you should come. I mean, you know, we might as well make a bit of fun of it. Actually, the only thing that'd be good is if they bought the wine because they got better wine. <laughs> um, yeah. And, and, and when I move into my new house, so that that's probably we've got to sell ours. It could be earlier. That's probably around September. So we should make good on that because otherwise, you know, I've, I've lied to them because I've said it a couple of times now. Yeah. We should definitely do that. Um, look, I just think we want it for uh, the, these um, advertisements and the like. You know, we want it for. Um, um, the things that we're going to need to do over the next year or so, um, sort of outside of the, not, not outside of the party, but, but um, uh, you, you know, like, like say we want to do some more attack ads, and say we want to do another regional field one, and say we want to do an industrial relations one, we just want to be doing those things, right? Yeah. So, look, I'll tell you what, I had cancelled that. If everyone's down, I had cancelled it because I'm, I'm at a Chinese function. And I'm going to be bloody tired. We, we could meet at. Um, we, we we could meet this evening briefly. We could talk about this. Oh, okay. Um, if you want, but we've all accepted that you've got stuff on. Um, I'm not not uh, calling about that. Uh, no, I, I'm, no, just, I'm just trying to think. I'm, I'm just aware the there's. Uh, look, the money's fine sitting there in the botany account. I just thought if you, I don't know what your arrangement with Goodfellow is or not. That's all. <laughs> I need to talk to him. Yeah. I actually see him tonight. I, I don't so think. I wonder if I should. I don't think I'll we can. I should, I should wait and get the right words. Yeah, I don't think we can raise tens of thousands and completely uh, keep him out of the loop. Maybe if you're just no, honest no, no. with him about it. No, what we you can't. Want. Oh, I think that's right. Um, look, I'll, I'll, I'll raise it with him, uh, but we should probably just think it through. Um, but I, I, I mean, it can be in the party, but I do just want to make sure we've got that money to do those sort of things, right? Now, the last part there is National Party leader Simon Bridges discussing how to tell the National Party president, Peter Goodfellow, about that donation. The recording continues for another minute with Jamie Lee Ross advising Mr Bridges that he should put the money through as a party donation, not a candidate donation. But that means he will have less control over the money and will need to inform the National Party President, Peter Goodfellow. We could actually, because Peter's going to be at this meeting with me in Wellington, that's all. Yeah. That's whether I then bought him in after that. Um, good work though, man, that's a lot of money. Yeah, they're good people. Now, there's no catch or anything to it. Um, at, you may recall at the dinner they did discuss um, candidacy and, and another Chinese two, candidate. Two now, just quickly pausing the recording there to replay it, it appears to be Simon Bridges acknowledging the donor of the $100,000 discussed two potential new members of parliament at the dinner where the donation was discussed. You may recall at the dinner they did discuss um, candidacy and, and another Chinese two, two candidate. Um, Colin yeah. Zheng, the younger one, he's put his name in for Candidates College. Um, yeah. And so... Uh, I assume you'll get through Candidates College and we'll just make some decisions as a party further down the track um, what we want to do with candidates. I mean, it's, it's like all these things, are, it's bloody hard. 
you only got so much space. It depends where we're polling. Yeah, I know. You know, all that sort of thing. Two Chinese would be nice, but then, you know, would it be one Chinese and one Filipino? Or, what, you know, what do we do? Two Chinese would uh, be more valuable than two Indians, I have to say. Yeah, which is what we've got at the moment, right? But then yeah. the problem there is you end up... Um, uh, you know, end up in a shit fight because you've got a list MP, you've got two list MPs, and yeah, you know, it's pretty mercenary at Cull. Um, sitting MPs, this is all that shit. And then, and then we've got the issue of, um, you know, we could end up getting rid of some list MPs if we wanted and bringing in some of those new ones. But then, if you do that, then you're just filling up your list, your, your, your list even further with the ones that you've got to sort of look after. Yeah. I mean, I reckon there's, there's uh, two or three of our MPs um, who, not, not thinking of obvious ones like Finlayson or Picarda, but actually we just want them to go, you know, like more MPs, f***ing useless. Yeah, I know. Uh, Carla, Finlayson, um, Mickey Wagner, they don't really need to hang around. Yeah, but then we, we, we get, we don't want them, yeah, we don't want them to go this year though. Oh, no, no. You know, we, we probably wouldn't want them all to go, you know. We want to do it well, and we just want to think it all through, so. Damning comments that no one expected, uh, least of all Simon Bridges.